Hi, Eddie. Yeah. Um, Eddie is with uh, Ray Solve, and I'm actually really happy that you're presenting now because yesterday in some of the other presentations, we saw some examples of your products. You know, people had taken pictures at, at trade shows uh, showing some samples, so some examples. So it's nice to hear from, uh, from you directly. Yeah. Um, so I think Eddie is joining us from China, right? Yeah, I mean, China. China. Yeah. China, very nice. Well, yeah, yeah, delighted to have you from Suzhou. And uh, yeah, uh, all the best. You have, you have the floor. Yeah, thank you. So I can start. You can begin when you're ready. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's nice to uh, see you all online. And it's the first time I joined this um, uh, online forum. Um, uh, my name is Eddie Zhang, and I'm the founder and CEO of Race of Opto Electronics. And um, first of all, thanks uh, for the invitations from the organizer. I am happy to join this event and showcase our recent progress in our full color micro LED micro display technology. Okay. Uh, in the current market, the predominant uh, VR AR uh, devices are typically in the form of headset style designs. And however, these devices often suffer from drawbacks such as excessive weight large size and discomfort when born for extend, extended periods. These factors make it challenging for users to utilize them throughout the day without experiencing uh, fatigue or discomfort. Um, this heaviness of the headsets um, combined with their bulky nature can uh, strengthen the neck and overall comfort levels, limiting the durations of usage and hindering the overall user experience. Uh, even the AR devices uh, using micro OLED and bird bath optics, the weight is still over 70 gram, uh, which poses a challenge in terms of user comfort and wearability. Uh, moreover, the transparency of the AR optics is currently limited, resulting in a blocking of environmental light due to insufficient display brightness. These technical obstacles undoubtedly hinder the pro progress of the AR uh, market. Um, the concept of AR glasses is incredibly uh, appealing as it leverages your hands and eliminates the limitation of screens. These providing and unprecedented levels of immersion in augmented reality experience. However, the current uh, state of developments in optics and micro display technologies um, uh, poses significant challenges that prevent these glasses from being mass produced at, at this time. Um, while the potential for AR glasses is promising, further advancements are needed to overcome these limitations and make them accessible to a wider audience. A waveguide is an important optical element um, that guides light wave along a specific path within a material. In the context of AR glasses, Waveguide optics consists of transparent glass or plastic structures with uh, specialized coatings or layers. These structures are designed to receive and manipulate light, allowing virtual image to be projected into the wear's field of wheels while still preserving the transparency needed to wheel the real world environment. Uh, in waveguide-based AR glasses, light from a uh, micro space is uh, coupled in the waveguide through a mechanism called coupling optics. The advantages of waveguide optics extend beyond transparency. They allow offer the potential for compact and lightweight designs, as the optical components can be integrated into thin waveguide layers. This allows for more comfortable and wearable AR glasses 
expressing concerns 